Good afternoon everybody. My name is Joyce Schmidt and I'm a design team member with Elizabeth Craft Designs and I'm coming to you today to show you a lovely card that I created using the new florals. So I hope that you uh, will join me today in seeing this beautiful card. So thank you so much to Elizabeth Craft Designs for allowing me to be here today. Hello Rosalie. Thank you for coming. I'm going to turn the camera down and uh, we're going to get started. There we go. All right, so this is the card that I have created. And I just absolutely loved the fantasy florals because I feel like that they are so easy to use. Um, I really, really like this elegant ornament. It's so versatile. And, um, well, hello, Raquel. Thank you for joining. Hi, Wendy. I'm trying to get my notifications up so I can see your comments. So give me one second. There we go. Okay. So I have actually an announcement to make. Yes, thank you everybody. Oh my gosh, there's the comments. Hello, Jody. Hello, hello. Oh, how awesome. Okay, so today's uh, winner for the Wednesday Facebook Live wins a $50 gift card is Phyllis Wilson. And all you have to do to win is like, comment, and share for a chance to win today's giveaway. So, and check your local craft stores for the new paper flower collection and the worn wood paper pack. That paper is so gorgeous. I cannot, cannot wait to get my hands on it. Okay, so this card that I created to, for you today, I will be using the um, Elizabeth Craft Designs Four Seasons. That's 1199. It is still available. So um, I have done one in the autumn, one in the spring, one winter, and I haven't done the summer yet. So this is my summer collection. Hey, Sandy. Love you too. Hello, Patricia. Hi, Honora and Denise and Jennifer and Henneka. Sorry if I messed up your name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hello, Jessica. Finally, you caught a live show this week. Yes. Okay, so let me um, let me get started on this. First of all, uh, what I'm using is uh, Sapan Pastels. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Pan Pastels. Um, I know that ECD used to sell them in different colors in metallics. And I decided that because these leaves looked a lot like Hawaii to me, is that what it looked like? It looked like I ought to make these leaves into something Hawaiian. So I decided to go ahead and bring out my tropical colors and um, make myself some tropical leaves. So let me show you what I did. I just take a craft sponge. Oh no, your screen froze. Oh, so I just take my um, makeup sponge. I can get these, you know, the Dollar Tree, wherever. You can use a sponge dauber if you want. And on the uh, soft finish cardstock from Elizabeth Craft Designs, oh my gosh, you know what I like? cardstock because look at the texture I get from just running the pan across the top of it. Isn't that neat? I love the texture that we get with the soft finish cardstock. So I'm just using a dark green. The leaves already have um, some embossed lines in it so it really helps to bring it out um, with the pan pastels. And then I just take a lighter green like this right down the center just to kind of give it a little bit of texture there and then you can do the back certainly it doesn't get seen most of the time but if you want to you can just for aesthetics let's see sue hello sue tj thank you for watching so that's how i did my leaves now the flowers were a little bit different um, and this is from the fantasy floral set that will be available. Let's see. So I have the three of these right here. It's a small, medium, and large. And so what I did was I took my, um, this is called pearlescent orange. Hello, Tracy. Yes. So many people joining us today. Thank you so much. Appreciate the support. So I just took the orange first, this pearlescent orange, and I just covered the leaves and first of all the pearl lesson is so sparkly anyway then you get the texture from the soft finish cardstock and it just makes these pop Absolutely. them and it's so easy do you see how easy this is? Like, you can't go wrong <laughs> 
So I'm just covering it with the pan pastels. It's going into the cardstock really well. It's not getting on my fingers very much because this is really good quality paper and it's holding on to that pan pastel. Okay, so this orange, now I take the pearlescent red and I love these flowers. Just a minute, I'm gonna show you how to shape them with the tweezers, but I love this little groove right here because that little groove, when you shape them, really gives it some beautiful um, dimension to it. So I really love this set right here. Let's see, and then I'm just gonna take the pink and I'm gonna rub that in right on top of the orange. Turns out so pretty. Hello, Els. Thank you for watching. Thank you for having us today. So I am just taking this pink and I'm putting it on there. You can also rub the pink in all the way if you want. Um, it really, you know, kind of gives a different floral um, combination. And then I took the um, these little buds from the second floral set, these two. So I actually ended up using like three of the new sets. So I used the five petal and then I used um, these two tropical leaves and then I used the elegant ornament. And so all I did with these is I'm gonna take my green pan pastel and I'm just gonna do the stem. I did the same thing um, with the tops of these buds. So there's my little buds here because I want my stems to be green. Guys, these things are so easy to use. If you've struggled with florals, you don't have to anymore because these are fantasy florals, which means they're gonna be whatever your little heart desires. Okay, so there we go. Let me grab a baby wipe because my hands are all messy. Yes, congratulations, Phyllis. What are you gonna spend your $50 gift certificate on? Yes. Okay. So we are going to take, um, clean up this mess a little bit here. Let me do this one more here so we have it done. All right, a little bit of pink. Okay. Now let me show you how I shape these. I just want to wipe up some of this chalk here so we don't get it all over our card. I'm also going to take this yellow right here and I'm going to use it on my little stamens. These are from the stamen set and the stamens die, if you look at it, they're large, medium, and small stamen. I'm going to use them all three in combination because um, I like how they stack one on top of another. So I'm going to grab a sponge here and I'm going to just take my yellow pearlescent and I'm going to use you color these with watercolors. The Elizabeth Craft Designs watercolor set has a beautiful palette of, of um, colors in it and you could certainly do it with the yellows. I had done one, um, I'll show you in just a moment, with the ginkgo and um, the watercolors and it just came out fabulous. Hello Ann and Tilda and Lori. Yes, Lori, it is chalk. It's a, a chalk-based, uh, it's called um, from Pan Pastels. It's just, you know, a metallic chalk, but you could certainly use anything, watercolors, you could use um, alcohol inks. This paper is so versatile, you could use anything. Okay, so then I'm gonna color my stamens. There we go. The one thing that I found um, with the elegant ornament, this, um, it, it, when you cut it out, it looks like this. You could use it top with the top round part of, at the top, or you can turn it around and have the round part at the bottom. And either way, it looks unbelievable. So it's just absolutely, I mean, we were even talking about how if you cut off the circle, this kind of looks like it could be in a music, uh, page or 
a really, really good, versatile piece to have in your collection. I went ahead um, before we got on camera and I embossed this with some WOW embossing powder. And I'm just gonna put two of these together because I want this piece to have some, some sustenance to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just glue these together. Uh, I did not have any of the 110 pound cardstock. If I did, I would have just cut this piece out of the 110 pound, but the 90 pound is just as good. Um, but I just want this to be a dimensional piece on my card. So I'm just gonna glue these together. And then we will have all the pieces done. I'm just gonna glue these together. Okay, there we go. All right, beautiful. Hello, TJ, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Dorothy. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do um, to shape these is I'm gonna take, let me move the pan pastels out of the way so we can have some work space. All right. So what I'm gonna do to shape these, first of all, I wanna show you um, how to do the leaves. So the Elizabeth Craft Design tweezers are the only tools that I use for shaping these flowers. And that is awesome because you don't have to use your whole brand new toolkit or a whole different tool set. If you have these tweezers, you have everything you need. So I'm gonna take my tweezers and this rounded part here on the tweezers, I'm gonna put it right on the line and I'm just gonna bend it right there on that embossed line. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do for the leaves, that's it. I'm just gonna take the tweezers, put them right on the line and bend it and then do the same thing for this one. So I get all my pieces ready and then I go ahead and put them together. So for this one, you see how the chalk is kind of um, like bund you know, bunched up there? I'm just gonna rub it off because I don't want it to get all over everything, but it's still stays on there a little bit let's see okay there we go all right now with the flowers all I'm gonna do is take my tweezers put the base of the tweezers right there by this little hole by the way the hole here is really convenient for stamens or brads or anything that you'd like to put uh, the flowers together with so it's really they really thought of everything in this set I think so I'm just gonna bend with my tweezers right here at the base of the flower see just take your tweezers and then that's what starts to give you your shape for your flower. So easy. And then all I'm gonna do is take my tweezers and kind of turn in my tip here. Okay. I love, I thought these, thought of Hawaii when I saw these flowers. I thought these look like they ought to be on a lay of some sort. All right, there we go. There's one right here by the hole. We're gonna do the same thing for all of them. Good afternoon, Barbara and Cherie. Yeah, I think that the chalks on this paper make them look natural and soft. Um, but you know, you certainly could use any color or any medium. This paper will absolutely, absolutely, you could use them in your journal. Let's see, and I'm just gonna continue doing that. Then I'm going to make sure I have three sizes. There we go. Let's do our littlest one here. My hole didn't poke out. There we go. You could cover these in glitter. In fact, I am going to use some silk microfine glitter from the Elizabeth Craft Design line in just a moment. Okay. So now I'm going to take my um, Kids' Choice glue. Oh, I didn't shape these. Let me shape these for you. So with this one, it's a little bit different. I'm gonna use the back end of my tweezers and all I'm gonna do is hold the base of the flower right here. Thank you, Janet, I appreciate that. And I'm gonna just roll the, the tweezers between my thumb and the flower and it's gonna soften that paper a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with my tweezers and give it a gentle roll like that, just so it looks like a, um, like a little bud. 
So these are actually three different sets that I've used here. I've used the stamen set, I've used the floral set, and I've used um, the elegant ornament set. Elegant ornament. So again, I'm gonna take the back of my tweezers. This is why it's so easy. I <laughs> just, I love making beautiful flowers easy. You know, the easy way. I wanna spend hours and hours making and these fantasy florals are just that. They are easy and they are whatever you want them to be. All right, so I'm going to take my kids choice. Put a little bit on my mat. And then this is my base flower. Well, what I used as the base. I'm going to just take a little tiny bit right there in the center of my flower offset it just a little bit so that it layers and then put those two together. I'm going to do the same thing with the third one, the smallest one. And just offset them a little bit. The holes can help you line it up a little and help you. There we go. All right, so I'm going to set this aside. The cool thing about the Kids Choice glue is that it grabs and sets very, very quickly. So I have one of those. I need to get one more flower for you so that we can um, have a full card. I thought these had were done ahead of time, so you get to watch again. <laughs> okay. So you can also use a sponge dauber. I might make this one a little more pinky rather than orange. I think I might start with the pink because these flowers in nature are not perfect anyway doesn't have to be orange on all of them it can be pink if I wanted to maybe to have a pinky orange just kind of there we go I'm gonna just put my pictures right here at the just like that that's what I love about this fantasy florals collection it is so simple to make these flowers so beautiful and I've tried just about of mediums some samples um, in a little bit of some ones that I've done with this that are just oh my gosh they're so pretty and so easy if you want to so take the back of your tweezers and put the flowers in your hand in the palm of your hand like this and just kind of push and where that hole is and it makes more dimension for your flower so you can absolutely give your flower a little more height if you'd like Here we go. My kids choice glue here. Offset that just a little bit. Okay, and while this dries, I'm gonna show you how to do the stamens. So with the stamens, all I did was took and laid them down in my hand, took the tweezer and just kind of twisted just a little bit in the hole. Look how, how much that came up. This is the paper doing this. So the paper really helps to keep your shape. If you've not used this soft finish cardstock, you really ought to give it a try. So I'm gonna take the medium one, put it in my hand. Just give it a little twist. See, how pretty, hmm? All right, same thing with this one. There we go. Now this one's the small one. That's the large one and that's the medium one. So I'm gonna build them as such. I'm offsetting them a little bit. And I'm gonna take these two and put them in the large. Now with the stamens, you could make flowers. There's a there's a die in there that has a has a larger one that looks like this. So you could absolutely make florals out of this. Um, I'm using it actually as a stamen today. I'm going to take it and glue it right in the center of my flower, just like that. Flower here, so let's see, let's put that. There we go. Now I'm just going to take my glue and I'm just going to real gently put some glue here on the ends of my stamens. There we go. Just right here on the ends. And then I'm going to take a glitter shaker 
and it's got the silk microfine glitter in it and I'm just gonna shake it on to um, those stamens and then that's gonna give it some glitz okay alrighty now on the card All right, I have the slimline card, which is um, three and a half by eight and a half, and it's actually seven by eight and a half, and you score it at three and a half. So this is the slimline card, and I have already gone ahead and put my double-sided adhesive on the back of my card, so we can go ahead and put it together. There we go. Whoops, what is that? Hmm. Must have gotten double taped. <laughs> Two for the price of one. There we go. I love the Elizabeth Craft Designs double-sided adhesive. And then I'm gonna put this down right here on the card. Hello, Karen. So this is my uh, designer series paper lay layer or my pattern paper layer and I just happened to have this in my stash and it matched that purple metallic so well I thought well orange and purple goes together so why not just make a card with orange and purple so this is my top layer and I'm using my double-sided adhesive from Elizabeth craft designs love this tape love it they come in all different sizes the six inch tape is probably my favorite do you guys have a favorite? There we go. I like the fact that it also comes in the eighth of an inch because the eighth of an inch is so good for our journals and putting our, um, you know, our little pockets together. And all right, so now I'm gonna take this that I we did earlier, and in my other cards I had turned it like that. Um, and in this card, I actually might, here's the sample, I think I might actually um, try it this way. But you know, you can try it any way you'd like. If you don't like it that way, then you just turn it around the other way. There we go. So maybe I'll try it that way and put my summer down here at the bottom. So you can turn it any way you want. It's not hard, you do what you want. So I did die cut my summer with Elizabeth craft designs adhesive on the back and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach these two together because I want to make sure that this has some sustenance to it because this foil paper that I'm using is very very thin so I'm going to take and I'm only gonna remove half of my adhesive at first just so I can make sure they get lined up and then once they get lined up voila just like that and because this card is a little bit smaller than my summer, I'm gonna actually come in here and cut this little curly loop off just like it never was there. And then I'm gonna cut this one off too because this goes doesn't go anywhere. You know what I mean? It doesn't look like it attaches to anything because we cut that other one off. There we go. And I'll probably put that down here at the bottom. I think that's gonna look fabulous down there. All right, so let's get busy. So I'm gonna take my foam tape. I have some quarter inch foam tape here. And I'm just gonna cut a piece a small up the center. Put a piece right here, maybe a piece down here. That ought to be enough to hold it on. Maybe you can see that right there. Maybe I'll put another piece somewhere else. You can see that right there. I don't like it to show. There we go. All right. With this elegant ornament, there's a lot of places to hide foam tape on here. So <laughs> you just have to take advantage of all the little curly cues that they built into the, to the die. 
there we are. Attach it up towards the top so we have room for our summer. There we go. <laughs> you don't have faves because you like too much. I agree with you on that one. Okay, so I'm going to take and dip in my um, Kids' Choice glue. Now, I always use the Kids' Choice glue for my florals because. It has such a low water moisture content in it that when it dries, it actually helps the soft finish cardstock like stand up a little more. So that way um, it actually um, it helps make them stand up and I love that. So I'm just gonna put some more of my glue on here. I'm gonna put that right there. And then I'm gonna come in here with my florals. I mean, I'm sorry, with my leaves. Get a little bit more glue here. Take my tweezers. Now you can distress the edges of these if you'd like. Um, you know, I'm just gonna tuck a little leaf under that one. I'll tuck a little leaf under this one. I love these big leaves on here. I think that is a beautiful addition to this set. And then I'm going to take one more leaf. I think I might put one more flower on here or a leaf. Put a leaf under here. And then I can come in here with my little buds that I created. Put a little bit of glue on the end and we can tuck them up underneath each flower like that. And then we take the double one, and maybe put it underneath here like that. And just like that, you've got a beautiful, beautiful card. And then I'm gonna put the summer across here. And this, I don't know if this, this card looks like summer. It just looks like summer. If I think of going on vacation, this is what I think of us seeing. Beautiful florals like this. And I'm gonna stick my summer down on here because my double-sided adhesive is on the back. just like that you've got a beautiful card this one I turned the elegant ornament down with the round part here and this one I put the elegant ornament up so it's just your choice however you'd like to do it but these fancy florals are so easy to use the paper is just absolutely if you guys have not tried that soft finish cardstock to make your flowers you absolutely need to try that it's an unbelievable cardstock. These are the um, Four Seasons dies, the autumn, autumn, spring, summer, and winter. And I hope you guys have enjoyed that, um, this presentation. I'm just going to grab the other sample that I did so I can show you real quick what else can be done with the fantasy florals. Look at that. That's the strawberries. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this new set, guys. There's just so many different things that you can do. This is the set where the buds come from, the fantasy floral set that the buds came from. Really, really pretty. This one was also made with this particular set, and I thought that was a really, really pretty combination. And then I used um, the watercolors to color those green leaves in the ginkgo. Really, really pretty. So I hope you guys will consider purchasing the Fantasy Florals from Elizabeth Craft Designs, the um, Four Seasons, because they pair well with this, this set. And I hope you guys have had a great day. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here. And I hope you guys have had a wonderful day and we will see you again soon, hopefully. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.